y'all. So I'm just waiting here for the hubby to get back with some riboflavin, or also known as B2. Um, vitamin B2 is known as riboflavin. And um, my doctor had originally yes. recommended it um, a few months ago. And um, I never gave it much thought because... Um, I didn't think it would away. work because I'm allergic to magnesium to in pill form. Yes. And um, yeah. well, like, it um, and other things in pill form. Okay. So, um, yeah. So he got me B2. Yay! Hey, I'm going to try it for my migraine. Hey, Nothing really else has been working, y'all. Nothing. I heard that riboflavin works though, so, so good try. Also, I've been getting trolled really badly. I, I tried to like block the person and it was nearly impossible because for some reason on my phone, I couldn't do it, kept saying error. So I went to the computer to do it from there and then it said error on the computer too. But then when I went back like 20 minutes later after like getting some it's how I do it. Tea and stuff. No, um, it's I went back and apparently she was blocked. So I don't know. Facebook's strange. But I'm getting heavily like um, trolled <laughs> and um, things of this nature. Like certain people just don't want to believe that you're for real, that you're 100%. Just doing this song. Some people just want to believe what they want to believe and that there are people out here literally just trying to hurt other people on purpose. I don't do those kinds of things. I don't understand why people think this. For one, um, she was attacking me on my faith. She's saying I'm not 100% um, Christian and that, you know, all this other stuff. And I was just like, well, you know, that's not true at all because anybody who knows me, who's been on my page or any of any of my like videos, can see that I'm all about Jesus and God. Like I am absolutely all about Jesus and God. I don't understand how people can just make a judgment call just because of an interaction that I had with this person. And this is the same person that um, trolled me on my YouTube channel first. And then when I banned her from my YouTube channel, she then found my Facebook page and then she started harassing me on there. So I banned her from my Facebook page and then she started on my regular profile and then I blocked her and then she made another account just to do it again. Like this person's dedicated. This is the person that I outed for having an only an OnlyFans page. She just keeps trolling. She just won't leave me alone. It's, yeah, I'm at, strange. I can't go this it's way, just yeah. strange, you know? Some people just don't want to let go of a conversation. If she was really, like, first of all, if I lied about her, then why is she going to this extent? Like, I don't do this. When somebody lies about me, I don't go and make, like, two Facebook accounts. And then harass them and take pictures uh, uh, from their profile and pretend to be them for, like, months. Like, it's insane. This is psychotic. You know what I mean? But I guess I'm doing something right for the Lord. Otherwise, this wouldn't be happening, eh? So, I'm just going to keep on keeping on. And those who know me, know me well enough to know that I ain't no, uh, I ain't no fake. Did you say hi to her? She was, the lineup was way too long. Oh, okay. All Facebook messenger. Um... But yeah, uh, I ain't fake. I'm all about my father's business. You like, I wish you guys could understand how much you can ask my husband when you, when you call me, when you're at work, what am I doing? We're doing the Lord's work. No, but what am I usually doing? What, like, what do you hear when you first call me? I don't know. And this. What do The truth? Hello. Uh, you say this, hello. And this. Is there anything going on in the background? No. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. I'm going to take a screenshot of my history because clearly he's not understanding what I'm trying oh, to say. Oh, people always try to mess with you? No, no, no. What? 
I'm going to take a screenshot of my history because he was, he's like, oh, well, every time I call you, there's a sermon on, so it's kind of like just a background. I think that you're talking to somebody else all the time. I'm, I'm listening to sermons. I'm not talking to no one. Oh, Lord have mercy. Anyway, the other thing I do is, what do I do before I go to bed? Pray. Pray. And? I'm just me. <laughs> now I'm talking to your dad. Read the Bible. For how long? A long time. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he goes to sleep while I'm reading it. And then he'll wake up. He'll be like, go to bed. Stop reading your Bible. I have lights around my uh, headboard area so that in the, oh. in the morning I can read when I wake oh, up. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Anyway, yeah, I'm going to take a screenshot of my, his my history on, on YouTube so that... Um, I can prove that literally all day long I just watch sermons. That's that's what I do. I'm always about my father's business. And if I'm not doing that, I'm reading. And if I'm not doing, if I'm not reading, I'm singing. And if I'm not singing, I'm praising. And if I'm not praising, I'm praying. And if I'm not praying, I'm watching a sermon. So this, these are the things I do every single day for the last 22 months. Literally. I see you, Logan. Logan. How many seconds you've been doing it? It only does it for one minute. What? What is this? Seconds? Yeah. Is every yellow thing okay. loading one minute? Look beside me. Seconds? Uh, yes. Okay, look beside me. Church? Yeah, the church will go. What's I didn't the, make a message in there with. That's the biggest house I see. Alright, so I'm home now, and, um, yeah, so I'm just going to get some tea and rival flavin, and then I'm going to see if that helps. Yeah, my lip is a bit swollen because when I was grinding my teeth, I also, the top of my teeth were digging into, like, inside of my lip, so it's my lip is swollen. See? Look at that. All swollen. It's okay. I have some salve. I'll put some salve, salve on it. I know how to take care of myself, y'all. Don't worry. I have a lot of homeopathic remedies. I'm gonna go put some salve on my it's swelling up on the sides too. Dang. It's okay. I got this. I'll be okay guys. This is just witchcraft workers, you know? Our world leaders speaking death over us and then I have witches constantly hexing me and cursing me and speaking all manner of evil over me. Just a never ending thing. Don't worry. I got Psalms 23 and Ephesians 6 on my side. So no matter what, it ain't going to be as bad as they want it to be because I got Jesus and he's stronger. On other news, um, today's going to be rough. I started at sun up and I'm going until sun up tomorrow. So I really got to make my uh, recipe that a sister in Christ had shared with me. So thank you so much, Aaron. I'm going to be making that recipe very shortly and then I'm going to be drinking that along with some tea uh, most likely it'll be peppermint and just fixing my my inflammation in my lip so swollen okay I gotta go take care of myself I'll be back and keep praying for uh, the believers in the pure bloods because we are being attacked.
and it's not just me. If you go onto my Facebook, you can literally see in the comments section how many people are being attacked right now. This is witchcraft. This is the this is the beast system making war with the saints. And that's literally what's happening right now. You think that this this is by accident? Everything that's happening to us was a ritual that was done against us. So please pray for all the believers and um, just lift us up in, in uh, Psalms 23 and Ephesians 6 and also Psalms 91 if you can uh, because we really need the, to plead the blood of Christ over us right now and I'm pleading it. With that being said, I'll be back a little later with an update. I'll, I'll show you guys when my lip goes down from the salve. So, yeah. I never had this. Like, look at. There's like this big crease here. And look how deep it is. Because my lip is so swollen. My poor lip. Okay. I gotta go take care of this. Love y'all. God bless you. I'll be back later with an update <laughs> and I'll also share the recipe if you guys are planning on doing a fast um, as well. It'll be somewhere beside me, somewhere around here. Okay, love y'all. See you soon.